Hey there, story lovers. Welcome back to another thrilling chapter of our tale. Today, we're diving into chapter two, where the winter solstice festival is just around the corner in the quaint town of Lunenburg. The air is crisp, and the town is buzzing with a peculiar energy. Our young heroes, Finn, Lila, and Jasper, are about to embark on a journey that will test their courage and unravel the mysteries hidden within their town. So, buckle up and get ready for an adventure filled with secrets, spirits, and a festival like no other. Let's jump right in. As the winter solstice festival loomed closer, the quaint town of Lunenburg buzzed with a peculiar energy. Finn, with his tousled brown hair and bright green eyes, stood at the edge of the town square, feeling a surge of determination. He had always been the curious one, but now he sensed a shift within himself, a burgeoning sense of leadership. Lila, her long dark hair braided and adorned with charms, felt the stories from the mysterious book wrap around her like a cloak. Each tale resonated with her, igniting a fire in her heart. Meanwhile, Jasper, tall and spiky-haired, adjusted his glasses, his skepticism beginning to waver. The eerie occurrences were becoming harder to dismiss. The spirit's presence was undeniable, and with each revelation, Jasper found himself drawn deeper into the mystery. The children grappled with the weight of the secrets they had unearthed, ready to face the shadows that threatened their town. The townsfolk were busy stringing lights and hanging garlands, casting wary glances toward the library, where the book had first whispered its secrets. Fear had taken root in their hearts, and as the festival preparations unfolded, the children faced a growing tension. Finn gathered his friends, their faces illuminated by the glow of the festival lights, and proposed a plan. They would confront the townsfolk, urging them to acknowledge the history they had long suppressed. As they approached the gathering crowd, Finn felt a knot tighten in his stomach. The air was thick with apprehension, and the laughter of children playing nearby felt like a distant echo. Lila squeezed his hand, her expressive brown eyes filled with encouragement. Jasper stood beside them, his usual bravado replaced by a newfound resolve. Together, they stepped forward, ready to unveil the truth behind the malevolent spirit that haunted their town. The confrontation was tense. The townsfolk's faces a mix of disbelief and fear. Finn spoke passionately, recounting the tales from the book, the tragedies that had woven themselves into the fabric of Lunenburg's history. He implored the adults to confront their past rather than bury it beneath layers of festive cheer. The spirit's manifestations had grown more intense, and Finn knew that if they did not act, the festival would become a stage for a confrontation far darker than anyone could imagine. As the children spoke, the atmosphere shifted. The flickering lights dimmed momentarily, as if the very spirit of Lunenburg was listening. Lila's voice rose above the murmurs, her belief in the supernatural shining through. We must remember, or we risk repeating the mistakes of those who came before us. Her words hung in the air, a challenge and a plea. The chapter closed with a palpable tension, the children standing united against the tide of fear.